Why did we choose tonight for Southampton to react to the budget? Well, I'll tell you why. Very simple. This city has the highest number of small independent businesses per capita of any city in the United Kingdom. The private sector here is busy, it's active. Also, since 2019, Southampton has taken a much bigger hit than other cities. Living standards already, before the recession begins, have fallen by 6%. You see, the point is, folks, if you're in the public sector, if you're in the civil service, you haven't actually paid anything for the pandemic. But everybody else is. And the bill came in today. There are eye-watering tax increases between now and 2028 for those that are working. The working population are being asked to pay for the pandemic. I look back on it now and think, well, Sweden didn't lock down completely. Florida, under Ron DeSantis, didn't lock down completely. We did, and I have a feeling taxpayers are going to be picking up this tab for many, many years to come. To me, well, he talked about spending cuts today, but nothing very specific there. I'm going to recommend a spending cut, a spending cut we could take that would make no difference to growth in our economy. We're due to spend 100 billion quid on a train line between London and Manchester just so that businessmen and women can have one more aperitif before their lunch in London. (laughs) Not that I'm against that sort of thing, you understand. (laughs) Get rid of HS2, there'd be no need for tax cuts whatsoever. (laughs) And the implications for small business, at least my view, there's been a war launched against the little man and little woman. This government, in the shape of Sunak and Hunt, they're on the side of the big global industries. They're not on the side of people in cities like this that are going out and doing their own thing and taking a risk. I think this is a completely rotten budget. I think to go into this with big tax rises as we go into, and the OBR today confirmed we're in recession, is a mistake. Before I go, to Liam Halligan, our economics editor. I want to ask the audience, a hands up, a hands down, who is happy with today's budget? Hands up. (laughs) Oh, come on, there's always one, surely. (laughs) Go on, go on. (laughs) Who is unhappy with the budget? And who is undecided? Right, well, we have a fairly sceptical audience, I think it's fair to say, here in Southampton.